Hi everyone. Uh, we are going to discuss inter VLAN routing with the layer three switch today. And we also discussed this switch virtual interface or SVI. So layer three switch actually performs two functions. On layer two, this actually uh, is going to perform the LAN switching that is uh, normal with layer two switch. And layer three, in addition to that LAN switching, it also performs IP routing for us. So it is going to perform two functions. Why do we why do we use it in inter VLAN? So for example, we have this switch that is multi layer switch. You can see this is the symbol. And for example, we have created a VLAN, so VLAN 10 in our case, and we also have created a VLAN 20, a second VLAN. So now we have two VLANs, and they will be in into uh, different subnets. Now what we want, we want this traffic from this VLAN, from this VLAN, to cross this switch, and should be able to reach this VLAN. So we want inter VLAN between the inter VLAN routing between these two VLANs. Okay, so we are going to study this today. But in some of the switches, we need to enable this, that feature by using this SDM. So SDM is basically switching database manager. And this actually manages the layer two and layer three switching information. Maybe the routing table. This manages the routing table, for instance. And that is maintained in a special memory that is known as TCAN. So TCAN stands for Ternary Content Addressable Memory, a special memory that is mostly used in networking stuff. So we use this command to enable that feature in some of the switches like 2960. And then this will enable us to use this IP routing that is actually uh, is going to enable the, uh, the routing between these uh, two VLANs. Okay. Now, after this VLAN, so after this VLAN, this concept, this switch virtual interface actually provides us a logical interface. So this is VLAN interface. And the same way, so this collective, these maybe there, there are two users, maybe we can have, we can have 100 users and they collectively provide us a logical interface that is VLAN interface. So for this VLAN, we will have a, uh, we will have a logical interface. And for this VLAN, we will also have a separate VLAN interface. And these interface are actually called switch virtual interface. And these are actually logical layer three interfaces on a switch. These logical layer three interfaces actually will allow us to configure the IP address on that. So once we have these interfaces that will be related with these uh, with these VLANs. So we have interface, VLAN, and then whatever VLAN ID is. So for example, in this case, this is 20. So interface VLAN 20. And then we can assign an IP address to these logical interfaces. In the same way, we also can assign an IP address to this virtual interface. And then by using this command, and this command can help us to route the packets from one VLAN to the next VLAN. Now, not only we can uh, allow the routing between the virtual lanes, but we can also use uh, one of the ports, or the physical port of the switch to connect it with any external router. And this router may be connected with other routers. That router may be connected with the internet. But one of the port of the switch, it will not be logical. So this physical port or the physical interface can be used to assign the IP address. So for that, we use a command that is no switch port. And this no switch port command allows the port to operate like a router interface. So with this command, for example, this interface will act as a router interface. So once this is in router interface, it means we can assign an IP address to that. That interface can be used in the routing. So this, this, this uh, simple command will, uh, will help us to convert this port as a, as, a, as a router interface. 
and uh, yeah so we can give ip address and subnet pass to that uh, port and with this basic information we are going to implement the same idea in the packet tracer 